Welcome back, guys. So let's talk about Velvet Buzzsaw, which is a new Netflix movie that just came out, who, which also has the writer and director of Nightcrawler, which this movie also stars Jake Gyllenhaal as well. But from the writer-director of Nightcrawler comes this movie, um, Velvet Buzzsaw, which is... Before I watched this movie, I knew nothing about it. Like, and obviously, it's it's like a lot of these Netflix movies that just appear. I mean, like, I guess you could find the name and maybe a plot synopsis, like, before it comes out. But I noticed, for the most part, they're pretty vague on whatever... Like, whenever these are released, they're immediate. And you don't really know much about them or know anything beforehand. And I like that. I think whether a movie is cool or good or bad, I like how Netflix does that, where, like, it's, it just is a surprise, like Bird Box, whenever that came out, that was such a big surprise, and watching that, it was cool going in blank on that one, and going in blank on Velvet Buzzsaw also is a really cool thing as well, because this is a, I, it is a horror movie, but the way it's framed, it doesn't seem, in terms of how the movie how you how the movie makes you feel it it has like a a framing of like it is a horror movie but it's horror in like a real life aspect but with supernatural occurrences if that makes any sense like it 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 looks like a normal non horror movie until this stuff happens in it if that makes any sense i feel like i'm just going on saying random stuff but i but to me that's what it felt like um, and this plot, I don't really want to give it away because, like, like I just said, I I like going into this blank, and it was an interesting watch because of that, because of not knowing anything. So, the only thing I'm going to say about this plot is that it's about these artists who, at an art at an art exhibition center, whatever that's called, and there's a supernatural mystery occurrence going on uh, with this art. And that's all I'll say about it. Um, now, the the movie overall, like, I I think I enjoyed it. Like, it's, it's not bad at all, but it's not, like, it didn't blow me away. I thought that there were a lot of moments where I just sat there like, this is just kind of, like, bland and kind of boring. But whenever you get to some of these supernatural moments in the movie some like a couple of times they were actually really really great like the last the last thing that happens in this movie um or one of the last thing that one of the last things that happens in this movie i thought was was incredible and it blew me away but the movie overall there were a lot of moments where i just sat there thinking this is awkward trying to be awkward on purpose and trying to be artistic and I do like I do like how they interpret this movie. I like how this movie feels like something I really have not seen before. I like that creativity. I like the uniqueness. Um and I do like the actors involved. Like the acting's good, but it's weird. It's like it's again awkward on purpose it feels like with a lot of different with all the performances honestly. Um, and I like that, I like this cast, though, because you've got, like, Jake Gyllenhaal and Rene Russo and John Malkovich, um, and you've also got the girl who played Nancy in, uh, Stranger Things. Like, you've got this cast that's a really stellar cast, and I do like all these people. Oh, and Tony Collette, too. Awesome seeing her. But it, it's got a stellar cast, but they're performances while not bad are just kind of weird like it's it's obviously trying to be a weird type of movie like it's a again i give it credit for being a movie that's not something i've really seen before like i like this this take on this this type of story like again i don't want to spoil the plot i just want to keep it spoiler free but the acting's fine it's just kind of awkward um like the uh, like the rest of the movie is the movie is awkward and that's one of the biggest things I can say about it is that it's an awkward movie but I I think I enjoyed a lot of it I didn't dislike it and I noticed that this has gotten a lot of bad ratings so far not not in terms of critical ratings but in terms of like on Letterboxd 
I've seen a lot of like two star reviews and I don't think I give this a two star. I give it like a three and a half out of five because it does have such creativity in it. It is a very cool, unique horror movie and I like how it it just is a very interesting hybrid of like what's going on in the movie and like how it it connects with how like it I don't know like the way that the way that the movie interprets this supernatural occurrence is really cool and I, I really did like that a lot um, so this one was just one of those movies where I just sat there like it's got good things about it it's got not bad things but it's just got a lot of awkward things about it but I know it's purposefully trying to be that way it's trying to be strange to be strange and it it gives itself its own identity it is a movie that I think is really memorable like I will remember especially that the second to last thing that happens in this movie I'll remember I think that was awesome and incredible but it just is also kind of forgettable in a lot of ways because it's just kind of awkward and kind of weird where like the weirdness because they want to stand out to be so weird it just kind of made it forgettable in some aspects of it but some aspects were really cool about it so so yeah, pretty much a mixed bag overall, but Velvet Buzzsaw, I'm glad I watched it. I didn't dislike it, but I just think it's a very, I'm mixed on it. I feel like it's a very mixed movie for me, and I overall thought it was fine. I just didn't love it. I thought that it does have creativity, it does have uniqueness. I, I do like the idea of this movie, so I think that that gives it enough points in its favor for me to say it's a good, like, I think it's a good movie, I guess you could say, overall, but it's just... A weird one it's a very strange uh, strange thing to decipher like then and, and I literally just watched it a couple minutes ago so it's weird to review this kind of movie immediately so maybe my thoughts might change in the future but as of, as of now this one is just it's totally fine it's totally fine with some cool creativity in it uh, so overall I thought it was okay um, now, tell me down below if you guys have seen Velvet Buzzsaw, and thank you guys so much for watching.